So this is going to be the final update to the uh, coating test for 2020. I'm going to refoam this with lift. And again, this thing is broken. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a microfiber towel and I'm just going to I'm going to wet this guy too. Okay. I'm going to take this microfiber towel because I don't want to get another mitt dirty. And I'm just going to agitate the surface. A little bit of residue on here. I'm going to go on the other side. Okay, this side's a lot cleaner. Okay. Let's go one more pass on here. I noticed a stain right here. A nice water stain. Okay. I'm just gonna get rid of this guy. And let me swap this foam cannon gun out of here. Okay, so I'm going to use the shower setting. Okay, so you can see all the coating is just laying flat at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a drying towel so I can take off any surfactants off of here. And then I'll show you the the results. Give me one second. Okay, so I'm back. Got a pluffle here. I'm just gonna dry the surface as best as I can with this towel. good enough okay I'm just go ahead and rinse these guys down with the shower setting again so you can see that there's the shampoo was hiding a little bit of the product with the residue on there I hope this gives you an idea can't coat still sheeting over here but everything else is pretty flat uh, Drexler is actually doing really well back there with that. And then 22 PLE is still here. And then the Gion, uh, Moe's, and Synchro are here, but Kanko's still shooting pretty well. Uh, but Drexler is shooting the fastest. I'll go on the other side. Let me show you this side first. There you go, it's just taking its time, taking its time. You can see the IGL stuff is finally showing through. Sea Quartz Light and UK are peeking through. SPS is peeking through here. Uh, but the Geon stuff is kind of gone already. Okay, so there you have it. Let me just go ahead and uh, do this for a second here. See, they all pretty much lost their hydrophobics on there.
same thing if I go this side. You can see can't go, it's still barely hanging in there. I'm gonna go on the other side. Go this way. So Drexler's the first one to start peeking through there. Uh, we got beadlock here. The Adam stuff is already gone. And you can see Sea Quartz Light peeking through. Jade Ice is here. Pretty much gone. Uh, Jade Quartz is starting to come in. Okay, I'm up here. Uh, UK is about right here, so it's starting to peek through. IGL is starting to peek through because this is the, the Drexler combo base top. IGL is here, and then SPS is in the center. The UK is right here. So you can see they're all pretty much sheen at this point. So, I mean, these things are pretty much dead at this point. Alright, so I'm just go ahead and uh, plug the surface. And you can see that they're really all shooting in C quartz slide kind of breaks through over here. And if I sheet rinse this way. Pretty much gone. And there's Drexler. So that's it for the last update. Just want to give you guys an idea of all the coatings on there. If I were to give it up to the two coatings that held up really well, I would give it up to Sea Quartz Light and Drexler and, and Shine Supply Beadlock. Those would be the top three that held up the longest uh, compared to any of the other coatings on here. Alright, so thanks for watching.